38, beautiful fish. Oh, yeah. G'day folks and welcome to another video. In this one, I'm out camping. I'm at Lake Tyres and I'm chasing a few brim and flathead. So I drove down about two o'clock this afternoon. I had a quick uh, couple of hours flicking the lake. Uh, it was okay, caught a few nice brim and a heap of small ones and a couple of flathead. So, Fingers crossed for tomorrow. I'm using soft plastics and hard body lures. Fingers crossed for tomorrow. I've just had a beautiful uh, mango and chili chicken dinner, which I've cooked on the fire. Can't beat cooking over the open flames. It's uh, amazing, great flavor. So there you go. That's, you can just about see it, I think. So that's the bed for the night. So that's the King's Quickie rooftop tent. So it just pops up on uh, gas struts. Perfect for one person or two smaller people. And of course the uh, Tabs Bull Shark is with me. So I'm using my boat this time because I'm on my own, Pete's not with me. So I drag my boat along. So hope you enjoy this one. I know um, there was a bit of an update yesterday on the restrictions. Um, Really wasn't that great, was it really, for you? Uh, 25 kilometer radius instead of five. Um, you know, it's, um, you know, hardly any cases now. One, two, three cases a day. And yeah, I thought they might at least give you the whole of the metropolitan area to have a go at fishing wise in the bay and things like that. So, you know, people that live in inland a bit, very, um, Still very restricted on where they can actually go fishing. So if you're in Pakenham, Berwick, Emerald area, yeah, it's very limited. So it's the uh, Reel It In Flathead, Australian Flathead Challenge this weekend, uh, or next weekend, depending on what you're, what you're gonna choose, which one you're gonna fish due to the restrictions. And I really haven't practiced at all. Um, yeah, the weather's looking a bit crappy. Uh, I think there's a lot of rain around East Gippsland on Saturday. And yeah, that's where I was planning on going, somewhere in East Gippsland, either here or another estuary that I like to fish for flathead. But yeah, the weather's looking a bit uh, very poo. So what's everyone else going to do? Uh, I think uh, there's another boat out today with a couple of blokes and they said they caught a couple of nice fish um high 60s so i think he said he caught one with a yellow tag but i'm not sure whether the yellow tag competition is actually still going at the moment with the restrictions still on um if, if it is he's just got himself a couple of thousand bucks so well done to him so yeah i might have a little play with the flathead gear tomorrow and um, throw some bigger plastics and maybe a bigger vibe just to see what I'm going to do and um, maybe see if I can hone in a couple of areas holding some better fish. Caught a few small ones today, well small saying 45 to 50 um, but yeah that's, I doubt that very much is going to um, win you a competition for this event so you never know though. Alright, so hope you've enjoyed that bit of fire. Let me know what you're going to do for the Reel It In Flathead Challenge if you've signed up. And I will see you on the water tomorrow. Good night, tight lines. Well, good morning, everybody. It's um, a little bit later than uh, usual. I've just been speaking to a bloke at the boat run. It's actually Liam Carruthers, his father. So it's nice to have a good chat. Really nice bloke. So. Uh, just heading down the now arm, um, already sanding up fish. I only left the boat ramp about 30 seconds ago. Um, 
yeah, so plan of attack. I'm gonna set probably set both the cameras up today. I have the head cam and this this uh, be a side mounted camera, just so you can get a little bit more of action if I get any action. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty much at my first location already. So this is where I'm planning. There's a little opening here. I got a few fish yesterday, so. Um, Flicking soft plastics and hard bodies, so we'll see how we go. I'll see you when I get the head cam on. Z-Man, two and a half inch motor or grub, is what I'm starting with. So all we've got here is pretty much where that edge is. Is uh, It goes really shallow and then there's a we're down to a three meter drop off where we are here. So um, I was finding a lot of um, jumping mullet here yesterday. There's a fish. Literally one hop. I think it's a small brim, tiny, tiny brim. Tiny brim. There is. One hop, one fish. So just hitting that edge where it goes shallow and then working it back down to this three metre mark where the boat is. Just fish on the sander. That's a bit better. This actually feels quite a nice brim. Might be mid thirties. Good. Oh no, it's only small. Putting up a good chair. Uh, I've got God, I had a treble. Oh, that's a nice bro. Got my net uh, treble caught in the net, so I'm gonna have to try and First good brim of the day. Two casts, three casts. <laughs> Four, Forty tipper. Before you get to the first bay there's like a bay that opens out yeah. just before you get there on the left hand side fishing the edge i got about six or seven there yesterday so i got mine a bit further down yeah um i don't know i haven't fished here that many times and my kayaker didn't go that far but i went down past the long straight and had like a little one goes that way and it's big yeah 
just down past that, there's a little inlet and a reed bank. Yeah. Heat just there. Yeah. In a metre of water. Well, I was finding from the boat ramp to the bay, there was, they're everywhere, but they're pretty shut down because they're spawning. So, but today, two fish, two casts. <laughs> Um, I'm finding the left because the it's a bit shallower. Yeah. I'm fishing like three meters now, so I'm yeah. pretty much casting into one meter, fishing to three. Yeah. Yeah. I got smoked twice. I don't know what they were, but yeah. They had two good, good waxing. Yeah. Like well, on your sander today, you'll see that. Even if, you, even if you're in four or five metres, everything will be sitting on two metres. Yeah, is that mullet or what? There's a lot of mullet, yeah. but there's brim sitting underneath them. Yeah, because the other, the other the last week I was here, up this top end was just all mullet. It's the same. Yeah. They've, just, they've just, as soon as I came here, they've all just spooked, but two brim, so they, they, I find the brim sitting underneath them. Yeah. And the, there's got to be a big flathead after them. Oh, for sure. So, Have fun. take it easy. I'm just working this edge. I'm going to work a bit forward and then I'm going to move down to the other point there. Oh, that was a fish. Yep, another tiny one. Oh. It's not, it's tiny. Another little one on the on the grub. Beautiful little fish. Even this is entertainment. Tiny little baby. Yeah. Have to try and find some consistent bigger ones, eh? Anybody can catch a big fish. The nest specialist when you're getting 10 centimeter brim. Alright, so target in a point that normally provides me a fish or two. A bit of flow from the arm comes around that corner. And sometimes you'll get the odd fish. It's really hard to see that line, but there we go. There's a the fish straight up. Doesn't feel big, but uh, there's a the fish. Bigger than what I was getting around there. Oh, that's a flathead. You dirty dog. There he is. Hammered that Z Man grub. <laughs> Just making it worse. Why do they do this? There she is. 
nice 44 centimetre early morning flooded if you wanted to feed that'd be magic wouldn't it there you go That's a flathead. What the hell are you doing in there, mate? <laughs> flathead on a broom snake. Eggs. Well, that was a hairy fight. Ah, man, net. It's not a bad fish, that one. Bay line. It's a bit of a hairy fight there. So there you go, it's a nice brim from that snag. 38 centimetres. 38, beautiful fish. Alright, folks, well, that's the video. Um, it's about 11 o'clock, uh, it's been all right morning. Uh, the old thing is I should have filmed yesterday. Uh, but there's a few good fish on there, a few small ones, a couple of flathead. So I um, hope you've enjoyed it and I hope it's uh, given you a little bit of um, enjoyment and excitement to get out there yourself when you can. So thanks again for watching. I will see you on the next one.